Hey everybody, it's Marlisha, the Pet Funeral Director here. Oh, I'm coming at you guys again today with a, a message of like encouragement. I can tell you that just watching my Facebook and watching people that I have connected with over the years um, on social media, I have not met any of them, but I can tell you it feels like it. You know, looking at different trials, tribulations, things that we all go through. We have to continue to have a sense of compassion. And I know it's kind of hard sometimes for many because you link compassion with actually being able to sit next to a person or see them or even have met them in person. But really, in reality, we need to have compassion for a lot of things all across the universe, all across the world. And I can tell you in my 50 years and my spiritual growth has been so powerful and dynamic just over these last six and a half, seven months. A lot of things have changed with me, within me, around me, just a lot. And I can tell you that um, the message that I was getting was I spent many years, I want to say about 30, 35 years on my own spiritual path and the things that I have learned, picked up, trained for, just is so much. Most of you guys know who's been with me many years, you, you know the spiritual background that I've come from and you know where I'm headed, you know, right now. And I can tell you the whole time, I believe and I know for sure that God was there. And God has always been with me, holding out his arms, you know, as I visualize, um, waiting for me to come forward. Because, you know, God gave us free will. He's not going to stop us from doing anything that we want to do. We have to have it within ourselves to come forth and be like, hey, you know... I want to make changes. I want to do something different in my life. And when we do, he's there with open arms. You know, and then the enemy tends to come and want to kick you, knock you down. And we can call it the enemy. We can call it the devil. We can call it, you know, the universe giving us hard times. We can call them all, all kind of things. But one thing for sure, I know that God does not have us to feel pain and suffering and, and test us in that way. God loves us. And that's where a lot of people get it wrong at. Where they think, oh, God put me through these trials to make me strong. God just, he, he doesn't hurt you. He doesn't want to do that. Those are situations that's created throughout the universe. Issues, problems, um, attacks attacks in all kind of different le levels people attack satanic attacks and yes people can attack you and it feels like a satanic attack it, it really can you know and i want for you guys to realize that every attack does not mean failure when you are attacked if things go really bad and you get knocked down just make sure you get knocked down looking up at the sky. Don't get knocked down facing down. Look up at the sky so you can see the the situation. So you can see the person or you can see the enemy knocking you down. Trying to beat you half to death spiritually. You want to be able to look them in the eye and get up and say, I am not going to fail. I am not a loser and I will not die. No matter what you do to me, no matter what you say about me, no matter what situation you put me through, I shall not die, but I shall live, says the Lord. And I can tell you, I'm not a, I'm not a Bible guru. I don't know the Bible front and back or side to side. That's, that's my husband. He, he knows the Bible you know, throughout, but I can tell you that on a spiritual level, I have always been advanced um, beyond my, my years when it comes to connecting and spirituality. And I know that, and I can honestly say this, 
no matter what has happened to me in life, no matter where I have been, do you guys know if I really look back, God has been the only one, the only energy, the only spirit, the only alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end, who have rushed to my rescue to save my life, to help me. No matter what I was doing or how I was ignoring God, he always ran to my aid if I was in severe trouble or near death or or something that was going to go down that should not be go down. It brings me to that, um, I think it was a, a scripture, and please quote me if I'm wrong or correct me, please. I'm not above correction at all. So um, it was in a Bible story where um, Jesus was on a mountain and, and um, no, no, I take that back. There was a Bible story about Job and he was being tested by the enemy and God said you you can't kill him you can't you can't take his life basically in that matter if you out there you know what I'm talking about please put it below in the in the comments but we may go through a lot of things and we think that we're dying but really God would never let anybody take our life touch our life he is in control. So when people come after us with slander or they come after us with anger or they're trying to assassinate our characters or the enemy come up against our life and cause problems with work and people and houses and cars and all these things that he has done, just know that it cannot and will not kill you, that God will rush to you. God rushed to me in situations and I could tell you at one point when God saved me, he saved me even back in August last year when I had a, a heart situation. My heart is perfectly healed and 100% fine right now. But at that time, he rushed to me, helped me, healed me. And I had not talked to God for at least 15 years. Shame on me. It's an embarrassment actually. It was almost 15 years where I hadn't even uttered one word to God, but yet he always looked at me and said, you know, that's my child, <laughs> that's my baby, that's, the, that's my creation. So we have to remember that we all have a higher power, we all have great energy, we all are good people. <clears throat> we just have to stay on point when it comes to our spirituality and keeping our spirituality in line and knowing who is really 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 on our team is very important there's a lot of people out there hurting and you think that you can't go to god because of past issues past sins past spirituality paths no it doesn't matter what you can you can be someone who was an atheist you can be someone who was a satanic worshiper you can be anything whatever of the past but if you say God help me or in the blood of Jesus God will come to his kids regardless of what you were or what you're not or what sin you did because all sin is sin from what I understand you know it's not like oh I sin less and you sin more a sin is a sin if you sin you sin and God is not going to judge you. If you need to change your spiritual path, change it. If you need to change the way that you deal with people, change it. If you need to do a whole 360 in your life, do it. Because God will always accept you no matter what it is. He will always accept you. He will always love you. He will always try to give you guidance. And he will do the best that he can. Um to have you to walk the path that you're supposed to walk. And remember, without force now, it's all free will, but he will lead you. And I can tell you things have been so fantastic when I have shifted my vibration. I no longer hold on to pain, to suffering of my past. I no longer capture people in my mind who did wrong to me. I let them go. 
I gave them forgiveness in my heart, my soul, my spirit. And that's what many of us have to do. Sometimes sickness and sadness come from holding on to pain, holding on to, to why this happened to me, holding on to, to just not being able to succeed in certain things that you want to do. You know, I used to always talk to God all the time and say, why do I always finish last? It seemed like I'm always last. No matter what happened, I'm always coming through last. I want to be a winner. I want to be the winner, the first one sometime. Let me be number one sometime. And God told me, you are number one. So I had to stop thinking that I always finish last. Everything is in the mindset. The mind controls everything throughout the body. And the best way to become more pure and have a sincere heart is that if you start thinking bad things, how I do it, I just say the blood of Jesus in my head. If you know that certain things cause you issues, don't deal with it. Don't go there. If you feel alone, put yourself around people who are filled with joy, happiness, and with God. Who like to go out for walks, have great meditation sessions and prayer sessions. You know, be with people that you know is going to be a positive force for you. And I'm going to leave you guys, you know, just with that. But remember, no matter what happens to you, it cannot kill you. And it will not kill you. God is not going to allow it. With these situations and trials and things that you're going through, you're going to make it. And it's going to be fast. It's going to be quick. So continue to be positive. And I hope that you guys have like a beautiful, beautiful day. It's going to be really nice today here. So I thank you guys for listening. And I'll talk to you soon.